Prosecutors in Bahrain have accused 23 Shia activists of a campaign of violence and subversion. One of the men arrested was Dr. Abdul Jalil Al Singas, a university lecturer who's physically disabled. His lawyers claim he's been held in solitary confinement and tortured. Another of the men arrested and allegedly tortured was Abdul Ghani Al Kunjar, another human rights activist. He's also been charged with attempting to overthrow the government, a crime which carries the death penalty. And a third activist, a British citizen called Jafar al-Hisabi, was also incarcerated, allegedly tortured and subsequently charged with trying to overthrow the state. Human rights groups are calling on the British government to intervene on his behalf. A seminar is being held here at the House of Lords about the human rights situation in Bahrain. Bahraini activists are saying that the government is cracking down on the political opposition through the means of arbitrary arrests, sham trials and even torture. Well, we hoped that the British government would put pressure on the Bahraini government to release uh, Mr. Jafar al-Hasabi, who is a British citizen and who has done nothing. And uh, by saying that he is a dual national, uh, really does not cut ice. The seminar focused on the trial of the 23 men accused of attempting to overthrow the state. The lawyer for some of the detainees appeared by video link. He said that lawyers for the men had boycotted their trial because it's designed to convict the defendants. He said mistreatment of the men was continuing, although torturers were careful to leave no marks. Now, there are good wishers from the public who are doing good work and uh, we have plenty of sympathy from the international human rights bodies and uh, some political circles uh, but uh, at the end of the day the governments of Bahrain feels that it is being supported especially by the United States uh, government and to a certain extent by the British government. Meanwhile other activists said that the Bahraini authorities were even targeting children as part of their crackdown. Children under the age of 18 who are being uh, detained and tried and charged uh, on charges that are not applicable to their age and um, also children who are being abducted and uh, beaten. For example, I have here a picture of the child detainee uh, Ali Abbas who was beaten. He's only 14 years old and he was, uh, he was walking uh, to, the, to buying some groceries for the house and he was attacked by riot police and he was beaten severely. For its part, the Bahraini government denies allegations of torture and says those who've been arrested were trying to instigate rioting and violence in the country. Roshan Mohamed Sali, Press TV, London.